Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about Butterworth High Pass filter. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share to your friends. So here it is the transfer function of this Butterworth High Pass filter, which is given as H of U comma V equal to one by one plus R naught by D of U comma V to the whole power of two n. Already we know that for a high pass filter, there is a disadvantage. That disadvantage is a ringing effect. That is, after filtering the image by using ideal high pass filter, within the image we may get the ringing effect. So this ringing effect can be overcome by this Butterworth high pass filter. So here it is the perspective plot of this Butterworth high pass filter. And if you see this this perspective plot in the form of image, so here we'll get the image like this. So this is the image representation of this Butterworth high pass filter. And here it is the cross sectional view of this Butterworth high pass filter. So here we have the cross sectional view like this. So here it is a cross sectional view. So like this we will get the Butterworth high pass filter response. So here the same response we got here like this. And next one this is the results of this Butterworth high pass filter. Here are not representing the cutoff frequency. For this Butterworth high pass filter generally the frequency response does not have a, a sharp transition like ideal high pass filter. So by using this Butterworth high pass filter within the filtered image we have some uh, smoothing effect will be there and at the same time the distortion will also be less. So therefore this Butterworth high pass filter is more appropriate for image sharpening than the ideal high pass filter and also less ringing uh, is introduced with a small value of order n of Butterworth high pass filter and also the ringing effect is less when the order of the filter is less. So thank you very much for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe to my channel open box education.